Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be talking all about tracking conversions in Microsoft Ads um, and we're going to be touching on the UET tag, actually configuring your conversion goals and then if you stay all the way to the end we're going to be talking about offline conversions and really just how to track you know, application submits, appointment books and conversions that are important to your business but don't happen natively on a website right, or on an app. So we can just jump right in. Okay, so the first piece of this is really going to be configuring your UET tag. Um, so the way the UET tag works, hit tools, and then you're going to scroll down through the UET tag section under conversion tracking. Um, and the way the UET tag works, it's basically like your primary tag to track all events, all audience behavior, right? It's kind of how Microsoft is able to understand what happens on your website, right? In every capacity. So the easy way to do this and the way I recommend doing this is actually going through Google Tag Manager. So you're going to create your tag in Microsoft Ads. It's really simple. You hit create. Um, create UET tag and uh, you're going to name your tag right so whatever your website is right you're going to just do um, you know we'll do our website turnkey lead um, UET if you have different sites different landing pages you're going to create different UET tags um, describe what it is and then for the enable the Microsoft clarity so this is kind of like a new aspect a new um, advanced tracking capability from Microsoft ads um, you know I generally recommend uh, going live with it, right? Because it especially helps with, um, you know, inventory purchases, e-commerce, um, but it just helps kind of give Microsoft a little bit better clarity, right, on what's actually happening on your website. So hit save next. Okay, so now, um, you know, you're going to have a few options, right? Install the tag yourself, add through website editing platform, or automatically add through, um, automatically add the tracking tag through Google tag manager. Um, generally, I like just putting install the tag yourself uh, because if you do the GTM, it usually natively integrates with um, your GTM and it can be kind of confusing. So I like to just kind of go through this whole process and just tell Microsoft that I'm going to be editing it myself or installing it myself. Um, and then we can just go back. Once you go through all these next steps, it's going to give you the tag and you're going to hit next. And then it's going to show you, um, hey, download the UET tag helper. Um, in your Chrome extension or whatever extension uh, or whatever uh, browser you're using, right? Go back to your UET tag um, and you're going to see it right here, right? So again, what I recommend is taking this tag ID, um, whatever it is, copying it um, to your clipboard and then going into GTM. And you can easily create a tag using Google Tag Manager by just typing in Microsoft Ads right here. Um, you're going to select this right here. And then all you have to do is just paste your UET tag ID right here. It's really that simple. And then go in a trigger and put all pages, right? So that this UET tag has access to all pages on your website. Um, and then you're going to just preview to make sure it's working and then hit submit. Um, and once that's done, you can then test to see if your tag is working, right? So just go to tag active. Um, see, this is the test one that we made. Um, and it says unverified, but the way you do it is you go to your website, um, you hit the tag button, hit on, and then you're going to refresh, and it's going to um, then show if you have a UET tag, right? So then you're going to hit it again, and it says, hey, you do have a tag ID, um, and this is the tag ID, right? So go back into Microsoft and just ensure that those numbers are accurate, right? And that is the best way to verify that you have a UET tag in, in Microsoft Ads. Okay, so once your UET tag is live, then you can go into conversions um, right down here, conversion goals under conversion tracking. And this is really where you're going to actually create your first conversion goal, right? Um, you know, there's a lot of ways to do this. Generally, you know, if you're a lead generation company, a service-based company, the easiest way to do this is just to do a thank you page, right? Um, so hit next, hit conversion goal is going to be submit lead form. Um, and then you can do event or destination URL. Um, you know, the event is a little more complex. It's really, you know, you creating an event in GTM and then pushing it through Microsoft ads using the UET tag. The destination URL is a lot simpler, right? Um, you know, neither of these are right or wrong. If you have the capability to create an event, then, you know, do that, right? Um, we're going to hit destination URL. Just, you know, lead form submit. 
and then you're going to go through here and it's going to be um, contains or equals to whatever your um, your conversion goal is right so for our example we're going to use this page right here it's just our basic thank you page right so we copy the back side of it um, we go back into oh, where is it there we go we go back into the conversion goal and just say hey this um, destination URL contains thank you um, if you are using revenue values right you want to go conversion value st strategy you can do that um, you know generally you know I put don't assign or I'll put each conversion has the same value you know the key to using conversion values is really for lead generation is going to be weighting different actions differently right so if um, you know you have an offline conversion that's more priority you're going to make that more um, you know worth more for your business for just a lead form maybe just fifty dollars for an appointment book you're going to put you know hundred dollars or two hundred dollars right to try to tell the system to find more people that are going to book appointments because it's more valuable for your business right um, Okay, so once you decide on the value, the revenue value, you're gonna make sure just your scope is correct, um, your count is correct. So we're gonna put unique, right? So if one ad click leads to three purchases, that's gonna be one conversion. This really for lead generation is super important, right? If one person fills out four forms, that's still only one lead, right? So just make sure you hit unique. Keep conversion window 30 days. I usually like to open this up a little bit more, like about seven days. Um, includes in conversion and then just keep this as last click and then you're going to hit next um, and you're going to say yes I do have a, U a UET tag um, and then save next and you're pretty much done right so you can go back to your conversion goals um, and then you're going to have your conversion right here right here we just have form fill thank you page view right um, the way to make sure this is working is to hover under tracking status hit test this goal um, and then Google's, go, or I'm sorry, Microsoft is going to give you some instructions, right? It's going to say, hey, um, you know, hit this and then drop your landing page URL um, in this slot right here. So we're going to go over here, copy our landing page URL, you know, follow the instructions again, and then hit start test. Um, and this is the thing that I really love about Microsoft is that it gives you really thorough conversion tracking and understanding on what's right and what's wrong. So we're going to have view the report. And uh, Microsoft is saying, hey, this conversion is found. Here's the, IU, or the UET ID that it's associated with. Here's the conversion goal ID. Here's the landing page URL. Um, and then it's just gonna walk through basically the, the quick instructions on what's happening and, and why they were able to find it, right? If a conversion is not found, it'll also tell you that, right? I've had situations where I was very confident a conversion goal was working and it wasn't, right? So then I had to, uh, go into this instructions and figure out that, hey, it was associated to a different UET tag. Uh, so just follow these instructions, right? And it will really help guide you um, through um, the conversion goal process, right? So the last piece to Microsoft Ads conversion goals and conversion tracking is gonna be offline conversions, right? So before you can track offline conversions, you need to ensure that you are tracking Microsoft Click IDs, right? So we're gonna go into account options and hit select. Um, and basically, this is a unique ID that is on every um, parameter or every URL uh, when someone clicks on an ad. And it's a way for Microsoft to associate a click with a downstream action, whether it's uh, a closing or an application or an appointment, right? So you're going to scroll down here and then just check this box um, and then save it, right? And then you're going to have this uh, parameter in every one of your URLs, right? Um, so once that is configured, you know, again, I'm not going to go into all the details of pulling this in, but you're going to want to use a hidden form field in your form um, that can pull the query parameter and then push it into your CRM, right? So you're going to want to make sure that all of your leads, all of your records have a Microsoft Click ID associated to it. And then from there, you're going to create a trigger, um, you know, that when someone creates an appointment or creates an application, you can push that data back to Microsoft. So the way you're going to do that is hit tools and then hit offline conversions. And then you're gonna get this format right here. Um, and basically Google or Microsoft just says, hey, you have a few different ways to do this, but you need to download this specific Excel, Excel file or a CSV file. And then you're gonna get this specific format. And so it's gonna give you some instructions, right? So you're gonna to wanna to put your Microsoft Click ID right here. So whatever that is, um, your conversion name. So if you're deciding on a conversion name, just put application submit. 
Conversion time, you're gonna to wanna to timestamp every single one of them depending on your CRM capabilities, right? So usually like a Salesforce will have a, um, a conversion created date, right? Or a record creation date, um, put that there and then put your value, right? I, like we said, application submit might be 100, it might be 200, right? So make sure that's coming in as well. Put your conversion currency as USD. Um, and then another really important um, component to this is your parameter time zone. So make sure that your format is correct, but you can just do something really simple like this, right? America, Eastern, and then you, you're gonna delete all of these right here. Um, and then boom, basically you're gonna have this file. So every time a lead comes in, you know, you can do this manually, you can do this automated, right? Um, I usually recommend automation, but it can be difficult, right? So maybe create a report every Friday or every Monday and pull in your click IDs, pull in your conversion names, your conversion time, your value, your um, currency, and then you're gonna save this file and you're gonna go back to, um, to Microsoft Ads. And you're gonna just upload the file right here. And it's really that simple, right? Um, once you push this file, you can then associate that to uh, a specific conversion goal, right? So the way you'll create that conversion goal, once you've figured out how to upload this information, is you're gonna go back to tools and back to just your regular conversion goal section right here. And you're gonna create another conversion and you're gonna make sure you're putting offline and hit next and then uh, you know, you can do really anything here, just put other, and then you're going to have the goal type as offline conversions and upload, right? Um, and then you're going to name this really whatever you're putting in your Excel file, right? So we said application submitted. And the key here is really just to make sure, or I'm, I think we put application submit. The key here is to make sure that everything here is, you know, accurate, right? It's not a lot on the setup process because we're doing so much of the work and we're pushing that file. We just got to make sure that the name is accurate and you're telling Microsoft that this is an offline conversion. And then hit save and next. Um, oh, put your revenue value. That's right. So make sure you put each conversion has the same value and put whatever you're placing inside your Excel file again in this conversion goal. Um, so overall, you're going to hit save and next, and then you'll go to um, really, you know, back to the conversion page and Microsoft will basically count all of your offline conversions as you push them into the platform. So I know this was a little bit of a longer video, but I wanted to touch on really every aspect of Microsoft ads and conversion tracking. Um, so if you like this content, please like, subscribe and comment, and we'll see you on the next one.